Well, I joined the Community Law Centre um, shortly after uh, the adoption of the interim constitution. So I was a beneficiary of the fact that there was already a, a children's rights clause in the interim constitution, uh, which was obviously spearheaded by my predecessor, Bridget Mabandla, um, as the leader of the Children's Rights Project and a core member of the National Children's Rights Committee, which was instrumental in securing the adoption of a children's rights clause in the interim constitution. But I'm pleased to say that after I joined the Community Law Centre, we worked very hard on getting that clause extended. Um, and I think in particular the addition of the very important uh, principle of detention of children as a matter of last resort and for the shortest appropriate period of time, which has been instrumental in changing uh, both pre-trial detention policies and sentencing policies of children in the last 20 years. So I think the centre played a, a critical role in elaborating the children's rights clause and ensuring the justiciability of children's rights. Uh, it started with the work that was done when the centre was initially founded in the field of juvenile justice under the then um, uh, director of the centre, Dalla Omar. So that when he became Minister of Justice in 1994, he appointed me, along with three other people, to uh, form a project committee of the South African Law Reform Commission to draft a new Juvenile Justice Act, now called the Child Justice Act, for South Africa. To draft the Children's Act, which is now regarded as one of the leading uh, pieces of legislation on child law in the world. All of these processes took a long time to come to fruition. The, both the Child Justice Act and the Children's Act eventually only came into operation coincidentally on the same day, on the 1st of April 2010. So it was a 15-year process of law reform that led to, to these uh, statutory endeavours. But I think that we can be proud of what we achieved in laying the basis for protection of children in this country. The reform of the state maintenance grant, uh, which we did with the Socioeconomic Rights Project at the time, and that gave rise to what is now the Child Support Grant, which is now reaching 13 million children in this country. So we were very much part of the transformation um, from the apartheid era um, to the new dem democratic era, thinking on various forms of social protection for children. Well, I'm, I'm proud to say that the, uh, the children's rights module, the LLM module that I started in 1995 was one of the first modules on children's rights anywhere in the world. Um, so I would hope that the centre will continue to, to be part of um, teaching and, um, and academia in that sense of the word um, and contributing to the uh, faculty research output. But from the advocacy point of view, of course, the big word of the moment is implementation. Uh, implementation of international treaties insofar as they impact on children um, and other vulnerable groups, but also implementation at the, at the very micro level. Um, so I would be hoping that we would be continue to work at a grassroots level on research um, to, to measure the, the contribution of the state towards implementing the policies and legislation that it has already put in place.